page 116 Gulliver's Travels When a person tells the story of his life in his own words it is called an autobiography Gulliver a sailor was once caught in the land of giants This is how he describes his experience On the 16th of June 1730 we discovered land our captain sent a dozen men with vessels for water if any could be found when we came to land we saw no river or spring nor any inhabitants i went on to explore the country was barren and rocky i turned back to join the crew only to see them getting into the boat and rowing for life to get to the ship before i could reach them i observed a huge creature walking after them in the sea as fast as he could the water of the ocean reached only till his knees however the monster was unable to overtake the speeding boat I turned back quickly and climbed up a steep hill with fields of barley on either side and the corn rising up to 40 feet. There was a fence to pass from one field to the other. Page 117. It was impossible for me to climb because every step was Six feet high, I was trying to find a gap in the hedge when I discovered one of the inhabitants in the next field walking towards the fence. He was of the same size as the creature chasing the boat. I was struck with utmost fear and astonishment, and ran to hide myself. He called in a voice. much louder than a trumpet it sounded like thunder seven monsters like him came towards the field ready to reap the corn they carried a reaping hook which was very big when one of the reapers approached where i lay hidden i screamed as loud as i could the creature stopped reaping picked me up between his thumb and forefinger and brought me close to his eyes 60 feet above the ground he looked at me with curiosity and blew my hair aside to get a better view of my face he called his friends and gently placed me on the ground they all sat on the ground to take a good look at me I walked slowly backward and forward pulled off my hat and made a low bow towards the farmers Page 119 I tried to speak to them loudly in several languages each time I did so the farmer who picked me up held his ear very close to me but in vain The farmer took me to his house and placed me at some distance on the dining table which was 30 feet high from the floor. Dinner was brought for the farmer in a dish which was 10 feet in diameter. The farmer's wife crumbled some bread and placed it before me. In the middle of the dinner I heard a noise behind me. it was the purring of a cat that was 10 times larger than an ox the farmer's wife was stroking him then entered the farmer's 1 year old son in the arms of a lady on seeing me the child grabbed me from the table and put my head into his mouth i shouted so loudly that the baby dropped me I would have broken my neck 
if the mother had not held her apron under me. Later, she put me on her own bed and covered me with a clean white handkerchief. I slept, dreaming of my home, my wife and my children. Adapted from Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels Page 120 New Words Bellowing Very Loud Noise Inhabitants Occupants Barren Land with no vegetation Astonishment Greatly Surprised Crumbled Broken into pieces Grab Here Pick suddenly Reading is fun 1. Why did the captain send the men to the land? 2. Why did the men rush back to the ship? 3. Choose the correct answer. 1. The giant carried a reaping hook because A. He was fighting with the other giants. B. He was going to reap the corn. C. He wanted to frighten Gulliver. 2. They put Gulliver on the ground to look at him because A. They had never seen a human before. B. They thought he was a doll. C. They had never seen such a tiny man. 3. Gulliver was A. A farmer B. A sailor C. A dwarf D. A giant 4. Name the creature to whom you would look like Gulliver. The creature is now extinct. The word begins with the letter D. Blank 5. From the text, write the sentence that tells you the following. 1. The giant reapers were fascinated by Gulliver. Blank. 2. Gulliver was a learned man. Blank. 3. The farmer's son thought Gulliver was a toy. Blank. 4. The farmer's wife was a kind-hearted woman. Blank. Let's talk. 1. Read the following sentences carefully. The giant farmer's voice was as loud as a bellowing trumpet. Or, the giant farmer's voice was as loud as thunder. When something is very cold, we say it is as cold as ice. This is because ice is very, very cold. Page 122 Now, complete the following. Use the words given in the box. As blank as a feather. As blank as a tortoise. As blank as as honey, as blank, as snow, as blank, as an ox, as blank, as night, as blank, as a rose, as blank, as a toast, as blank, as a breeze. Red, slow, black, gentle, warm, strong, sweet, light, white. Use the above expressions to complete the following sentences. 1. The old man's hair is as white, blank. 2. His feet were as cold, blank 3 
the newspaper boy was as slow, blank, blank, in delivering the papers. 4. I felt as light, blank, after exercising. Create your own comparisons for the following. Work in pairs. As tall as, blank. As fast as, blank. As high as, blank. As angry as, blank. As tiny as, blank. As brave as, blank. Page 123. 2. There are many reasons why something happens. For example, event 1. Gulliver could not climb the fence because reasons. Every step was six feet high. He saw one of the giants coming towards him. He ran to hide himself. All the three are reasons why Gulliver was unable to climb the fence. 3. Now look at the pictures and discuss in groups why the following events happened. You may find more than one reason for each of them. Use the space provided for your answers. Page 124. Let's write. Look at the following examples. I was trying to climb over the fence when the giant saw me. The farmer's wife was stroking the cat when her one-year-old son entered. Both the actions were in the past. When the first one was going on in the past, the second one happened. 1. Match the following and write complete sentences in the lines below. What was happening? What happened? What was happening? 1. I was writing a letter. 2. Paul was looking out of the window. 3. He was looking for his dog. 4. I was just completing the last answer. 5. The man was painting the wall. 6. Amit was doing his homework. 7. My mother was cooking dinner. What happened? The lights went out. The bell rang. He noticed a lovely butterfly. He fell off the ladder. I met Arun. My pen ran out. Ma'am said, stop writing. 1. I was writing a letter when... Blank. 2. Blank. 3. When I met Arun, he was looking for his dog. Blank. Please note that sometimes the order of the sentences changes. For example... When I met Arun, he was looking for his dog. Now, you make your own sentences in the space provided. 2. Now, complete the following suitably. 1. I was sitting in a taxi yesterday when... Blank. 2. He was cleaning out his cupboard when... Blank. 3. Blank. A dog ran out onto the road. 4. Blank. The teacher walked into the room. 3. When we compare two things or people, we add ER or more to the describing word. When we compare three or more things or people, we add EST or most to the describing word. Look at the following examples. When first two are compared and when all three are compared. Fast, faster, fastest. The sailboat is fast. The car is faster than the sailboat. The aeroplane is the fastest of all. Difficult, more difficult, most difficult. Page 125 Page 126 
Hitting a target is difficult. Juggling caps is more difficult than hitting a target. Doing complicated magic tricks is the most difficult of them all. Now, complete the following in the same way using the words easy or strong. 1. Skipping is blank. Jumping is blank then skipping. Walking is the blank of all. 2. The dog is blank. The horse is blank. The elephant is blank. Now complete the following in the same way using the words juicy or exciting. The order may vary according to your choice. Apple, orange, sugarcane. Rock climbing, skiing, river rafting. 4. Correct the use of the describing words in the following sentences. 1. This is the simpler problem of them all. 2. Which is the lightest of the two parcels? 3. He is cleverer than I am. 4. I like this the best of the two. 5. The flood became badder as the rain increased. Page 127 5. Punctuate the following sentences using capital letters, full stops, commas, question marks, apostrophe, exclamation mark, wherever necessary. Dear Samir, comma, I am sending you a photograph of my newest pet Frisky. is a bulldog and a very playful puppy by next summer. He should be old enough to go with us on our long walks. I'm sure you are looking forward to seeing him. I know you will like him. Warm regards, Sanju. 6. Punctuate the following sentences. 1. Next Wednesday, my sister Meeta is going to join the State Bank of India. The dog wags its tail when it's pleased, but a cat waves its tail when it's angry. 3. When I went fishing, I caught an old shoe, a plastic bag and a bad cold. 4. She fed the baby, washed the dishes, put the lights off and went to sleep. 5. Wasn't Tim born on the 26th of January 1989? 6. Oh no, the bus has gone. Let's find out. Fill in the blanks. 1. A giant tree. Redwood trees of California. 2. A giant bird. Blank. 3. A giant land animal. Blank. 4. A giant water creature. Blank. Page 128. 5. A giant reptile. Blank. 6. A giant aeroplane. Blank. Find out some interesting facts about each of these giants and share them with the class. Creative writing. You woke up one morning and found yourself in the land of dwarfs. Write a paragraph describing your experiences there and how you got back home finally. You may begin like this. Everything around me looked different. And use the space for your creative writing. Let's crack a joke. Question. What did the monster eat after the dentist pulled its tooth? Answer, the dentist! <laughs> <laughs>